My thoughts on the game are that for 75 minutes, the tactical plan that we, we wanted to see on the field worked very, very well. We gave some chances away, but we also have to respect that Simon Fraser is the number one ranked team in the country, that they've got a lot of quality, technic uh, technically, tactically. I think it was uh, unfortunate. The guys uh, played very well for 75 minutes, created one good chance where we could have been up 1-0. Well, definitely a good game. Huge disappointment to not make an upset today against the number one team in the country. And uh, for next season, we still have a lot of work to do, a lot of improvement to do, and hopefully we'll uh, come back uh, stronger for the 2018-2019 season. I was just trying to focus on the game. It's been a long four years, a good four years, and uh, you know, just trying not to let the emotions get the best of me while still on the field. And you're a player that just has progressed so much throughout your career. You know, you played a little bit as a freshman, saw time in probably half the games, uh, to becoming a starter the last two years in the program. Uh, how, how have you grown um, during your time here? I mean, just watching the seniors before me, the seniors coming up. I've been here for four years, so I got to see all three classes graduate and just learning from uh, the players before me. I and mean, talk about some of the, the other seniors in this group. I, there's five of you. I know it's a it's a fun group to be a part of, and what uh, why it was fun playing with them. Yeah, we got a great group of seniors this year. Uh, I'm just happy to be on the team with them. Bunch of guys, bunch of different countries. You know, we all get along really well, and I'm uh, just excited that I got to play with them. Uh, it's definitely an exciting time for. I mean, this last year was the, my best year in college, so I really had a good year doing that. I mean, we didn't do too well in the last two years with winning, but learned a lot here and enjoyed my time with these guys. Uh, what, what will you uh, remember the most about playing with this particular group? What stood out about them? Um, I'd say what stood out the most was just, I mean, the banter, just like off the field. It was a lot of fun. These guys were, we were really close this year, even closer than last year, and it was just a lot of fun. I didn't have that at my old school where off the field you were just, you had 23 friends, so it was just, it was awesome this year. Uh, Ludwig, uh, this one year with the Yellow Jacket program, this is a familiar soccer field for you. Though. You played many games here, uh, first with the University of Mary, but talk about finishing your career, spending the last year with MSUB. Yeah, it is. It is very familiar, and I've played here a lot of times. Sadly, during my first three years, I only got one result here, and that was a 3-3 draw in my freshman year. But I don't know, I'm so grateful for Coach Alex uh, taking me here approaching me when I made my decision of leaving University of Mary and couldn't have asked for a better better one and a half last year here. I met friends that I'm never gonna forget and it's so hard to say. People uh, people come and go but I'm, I made the decision because I wanted to see something new, I wanted to experience something new and I've really done that here at MSUB and jacket proud. I, I don't know, I can't find a better word for it so. Well, it's been a hell of a journey, you know, pretty exciting. At first, when I transferred here, I didn't know really what to expect. And like all those expectations went beyond. And I'm so grateful with the team, with the coaches. And like we've had four really good seasons, so couldn't have asked for more. Now you finished your career number two in MSUB history, 27 goals. 60 career points. Um, looking back on that, what does that mean to you? Well, I remember four years ago, I think it was our first interview. It's yeah, I'm glad to score, to have the chance to have the, to help the team. But at the end of the day, it's like everyone on the field and off the field who work. You know, we we all work for each other, and it happens to be me to be the one guy who scores. So. I'm, I'm happy for that too. Uh, yeah, that was a very special day today. Uh, I'm sad, sad to leave uh, to leave this team, to leave my teammates because it was three amazing, uh, amazing years. Uh, I loved everything. Uh, like I, like I said earlier, I, I, I was really surprised when I came by the the level uh, here, also by the the atmosphere uh, between the, all the guys. So I'm sad, uh, and uh, yeah. I, it's just another another page of uh, of my of my life that is that is gonna is gonna turn. But yeah. And you've meant so much to this program. I mean, statistically, you're in the top ten in MSUB history in goals, assists, and points. And beyond that, a uh, three-year captain on the field, just a, a leader on this team. What, what has this experience meant to you in that regard? 
I didn't expect that to be to be honest because uh, back home I, I I'm not I was not used to to get on the score sheets that much. Uh, but yeah, I just took took my uh, my leader. Uh, I mean, I just did my role as a leader and uh, tried to, to lift the level. Uh, and yeah, that, that that was good to get on the score sheets. But the, the most important things was was, was to, to get the wins. Uh, I have to say I'm really I'm a bit disappointed too because I didn't reach my goal, uh, which was to bring the uh, MSUB for the first time to the nationals. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen. But I'm sure that in the future, in the near future is going to happen because this this program has great resources and uh, and yeah i i know it's going to happen always a very very emotional day a day that i look forward to but also a day that i kind of dread a day that we want to postpone as much as possible every year a bittersweet day because some some of these guys have put illustrious careers together and they come to an end so they're going to be sorely missed on the field but at the same time the growth that they've gone through over their careers here, over the span of their careers here at MSUB is oftentimes, it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, sweet also because it means that they're getting closer to graduating, that they can go out into the world and, and become productive members of their communities, which is exactly what we want here at MSUB. We want to raise, we want to raise or help raise these guys into becoming gentlemen. And I think that with the group that we have graduated athletically today, we've done a pretty good job and we've offered them an experience that I don't think would have been able to, to be replicated uh, in other places around the country because coming here to MSUB and, and giving three or one, two, three or four years of your, of your life uh, to this program is, is something very, very special and I hope that the players that come back next year understand that and embrace that and by doing that also help this pro program move forward and I can't be more thankful for, this, for these five guys and I think the same can be said for a fantastic group of coaches because without them, things would be very different. I'm excited because we had a lot of young talent this year. A lot of We had some guys injured, so a lot of freshmen got time, got to prove what they can do. And I'm excited to see where the program goes in the next couple of years. We're just a really good close group and it's it's hard we could, because we can't this, I don't know what the word for it, but like all of the all of the other guys in the team as well. We only got one thing in common, and that's the school and soccer here. So I, I'm so grateful for everyone I met here and the team and everything. The program has been growing and growing each year. So, I mean, I know it's gonna keep growing more. We'll get that GNX tournament, well, the GNX championship and the NCAA pretty soon. I, I, I think we can. And well, even though I'm done playing and I'll be, I, I wish, I mean, hopefully I can come back as a GA, help Alex and help the team accomplish more, so. Uh, I think that the, the things we learned this year about just, you know, game in, game out, I think that it's gonna improve for next year and that we're gonna bring in new players to make uh, the record winning record next year. And we have hopes to go to the national tournament. And I think that's something this program can do. It's getting dark here at Yellow Jacket Field as you stand here, the last person on the field, uh, one last time. You had your family here today, your brother surprised you last night. Um, what, what are your last thoughts here? Yeah, that was amazing. I, I thought just my dad was coming and then I, I saw them uh, in the airport and that was just an amazing feeling because I've been asking them for two years and then they were always telling me they couldn't get off work and I, I truly believed them and just to see them, to have them uh, with me for this last game was just amazing, very emotional.